皆さん、こんにちは。Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Guy Perry, and this is Let's Talk Hawaii, live from Honolulu. This is a program about English pronunciation, communication, and interesting things and people in Hawaii. You can see me here every other Tuesday at 3 p.m. 皆さん、こんにちは。えー、ことびりです。毎週、毎、毎、再来週、uh, every other Tuesday at 3 p.m., you can see me here. Today's topic is How singing can help improve your pronunciation. But today, I have a special guest live from Los Angeles, California. Her name is Ms. Maki Manami. Maki is a singer, voice trainer, composer, and a new mom and former excellent student of mine. Maki uses her English skills for her work today and her daily life. And today, we're going to find out. How singing can actually help improve your pronunciation. 歌歌うののののはははどうやって、えー、自分の発音を直すとか、あるいは improve your pronunciation. It's an interesting concept, but it's very true.、えー、I do many level checks,、uh, 日本人の発音チェック10から1、1が number one で、ベスト。で、先週120約、約、約、130レベルチェックしました。で、結構多かったです、先週。で、平均スコアは 7.1 です。Yes, one is the best and 10 is the lowest level. So, over the years, I've done nearly 5,000 level checks. And of these, 一つの面白いポイントがあります。で、singers and musical 音楽関係の人が have a better average score. Average For most people, is about 7 to 7.5 lately. Well, singers have an average score of about 4 to 5. And they improve much faster on average. I think it's because they're very focused and tuned to their hearing skill. よく聞こえるから、音をよく気にするから、発音上達が早いし、平均のスコアがもう早い。So, today we will talk with a former student of mine and find out how singing can improve your pronunciation. So, before we go any further, I'd like to bring on Ms. Maki Manami and introduce her. Hi, Maki, how are you? Hi, very good. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. You're a long time no see. How's everything in California? Everything is good.、Um, I've been teaching local students here in Los Angeles. I have piano and vocal students here in Los Angeles. I've been teaching American kids and American adults, and including other people too. So、um, I'm, I've been really happy doing that. And thank you so much for Scott because you, know, you gave me this method. And then、uh, if I didn't take your lesson, I would never be able to teach American people. So, I'm really thankful. Well, thank you very much. And、uh, yes, you are one of my、uh, top students, and I'm very happy to see your success. I understand you've done work with some pretty big companies. I have a list here. I think、uh, you know, Sony, Honda, Google,、um, Fuji World, I mean, the FIFA World Cup. I'm not a real soccer、okay. fan, but、uh, Panasonic. And、uh, let's see, soundtracks and orchestra soundtracks. So that's,、right. uh, that's pretty impressive. Now, I've got a couple of questions for you. I want to ask you some things. And then I want to basically show how singing and English are connected. Okay? So let、sure. me get to find out some information about you. Okay. When did you first become interested in English? In English?、Uh, well, actually. No, no, no.、Um, sorry, sorry. When did you first become interested in singing? In singing. Okay. So, well,、uh, I always loved singing since I was a little kid. I was always into karaoke. My parents and my relatives had this karaoke machine at、mm-hmm. home. And so I always loved singing. Like, I always, you know, sang.、Um, Cartoon songs in front of everyone. But when I was、uh, 17, I was 
uh, into kind of old films, old American films, and especially I loved uh, MGM musical films. So I wanted to be a musical actress. So mm. um, I started taking a um, vocal lesson with this opera singer in Japan. And that's when I started singing uh, seriously and, and properly. Okay, so basically you had an interest since you were very young and at 17 you started taking steps, is that correct? Right, right. What was, the, uh, what was your first singing experience actually when you were like action and singing actually? So you mean professionally singing ex experience? Well, like, no, maybe the first time on stage or the f when you were a little kid, first time you got up and said, I'm now singing. Okay, so uh, I have actually a kind of interesting experience at singing and also performing. So uh, my uh, grandparents took me to this hot spring, like onsen, you know, hotel, and then uh, we stayed there. And while we were staying there, they had this karaoke uh, event at the hotel. So they had this professional band. And, you know, everyone who were staying at the hotel, if they want to sing, they can go up on the stage and sing. So uh, MC said, so who wants to sing next? So I was like probably five or six years old. And then I said, me, you know, I want to sing on the stage. So I went up on the stage and I started singing uh, this cartoon song. Uh, all Japanese people should know it's Tensai Bakabon. Mm -hmm. And then I started singing with the band. and. Uh, um, so this cartoons, it's actually theme song has um, the one phrase, kind of famous phrase goes like, Kore de inoda, and then it repeats like four times in cartoon, you know, and then um, I knew that it repeats four times when they play that song on TV, but I knew that I have heard the full version, maybe when I was in shopping mall or somewhere like that. And it actually repeats eight times mm. in complete version. So I was singing on the stage and I knew that the band will go on to the next phrase after four times. But then I turned back and I was just like, you know, gave them the sign, you know, like I, I want to go on more. And then I sang that phrase like eight times, the quarter day, you know, that quarter day, you know, that. and the band was like, you know, like how many times is, is she going to sing this mm. phrase? Right? And then at eighth time, I gave them sign again. Like, like I'm gonna stop right there, and then move yeah. on to the next. Right. And that so was that was five kind of years like old. Five or six. Yeah. Wow. So that was my first singing experience on the stage, and also performing with a band, like kind of you know doing session. Mm -hmm. So that was the experience. That's interesting. Okay. 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 Um, so, okay. well, how would you, uh, style how do you categorize? How would you categorize your singing style now? Okay, so, um, I was an opera teacher, and I was a classical musical, so I was a classical musical. So I was in New York and I started taking jazz vocal lesson with this um, gospel, black gospel singer, actually. I sang a lot of standard jazz as a professional singer while I was in Tokyo. あの、ま、時にはポップスだったりとか、R&Bみたいな感じだったりとか、ま、いろんなジャンルを歌わないといけないから、あの、ま、時にはポップスだったりとか、R&Bみたいな感じだったりとか、ま、いろんなジャンル
Now I have a few people in Germany. I'm 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 a あのヨーロッパとかに合ってるんじゃないかっていう意見がすごくあって、で、I wanted to live in Europe so much。で、その時あの、ドイツが hardest place in the world for musicians and artists。だからみんなこう、海外からこう、あのドイツに向かって、ベルリンに向かってあの、移住してきたっていう時代だったので、で、私はあのその後ロンドンに住みたかったんですけど、ロンドンで、まあ、レコードその前にリリースしたりしてたので、だけどあの最初にそのすごくベルリンを見てみたかったでそこで音楽をやってみたかったのであの1年ほど住んでましたあベルリンねベルリンベルリン,ベルリン日本語でベルリンか<笑>、えー、知らなかった<笑> OK じゃああの So that's, that's interesting and did you speak any German? ドイツ語もな,なんとかできましたか Yeah I was gonna, I was gonna learn The German is like so long. One word is already so long. And one sentence is like so long. You know, like they don't use comma、mm -hmm. and then just go like all, all over and then period at some point. So I got kind of, you know, confused. Okay.、Anyway. So, how has English benefited you so far? How has English helped、yeah. your, yeah, benefited you so far? Ego s k a u k u t o wa d o y a t e benefit. In my life in California、yeah. or in、okay. your life in general? Yeah, well, it, it changed my life. Actually, you changed my life because、um, I lived in New York when I was, in,、uh, when I was 19 years old.、Mm -hmm. So at that time,、uh, my English was okay already because I took English conversation lessons a lot、mm -hmm. while I was in Japan. But pronunciation wasn't that great. And of course, you know, like my English wasn't that great either. but Uh, first of all, pronunciation. So, um, I think America is not a good thing. I think it's 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 a good thing. I feel that、um, they actually started treating me. Like,、um, you know, like real people in America. So, like teaching American kids and American adults, it's a really big thing for me. The Utawa, the Kashiga, Arjana, the lyrics, Arno, the Ano, the person, the Namate, the Sui Namari, the Tsui, the Gokujin, the Tara, America, the Kono Kashi, 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 I remember we worked on a CD of yours called Pilot. Is that, is that the name of it? Right. And That's right.、Yes. we spent a lot of time on that, but I think it was actually the first uh, uh, Japanese born Chugaku Sodatiri, Nihon no Sodatiri, Kampiki na CD. Every word was actually perfect. So that was really interesting. Thank you, Thank you so much. And、um, we're going to be coming up on a break. When we get back, I wanted to ask you a couple questions about、um, a little bit more about, about singing, and then we're going to go into some teaching. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, well, we're going to take a break right now, and we'll be back shortly. Aloha, I'm Stan Osterman, a host here on Think Tech Hawaii, a digital media company serving the people of Hawaii. We provide a video platform for citizen journalists to raise public awareness here on the island. We are a Hawaii nonprofit that depends on the generosity of its supporters to keep on going. We'd be grateful if you go to thinktechhawaii.com and make a donation to support us now. Mahalo.
Hello, I'm Dave Stevens, host of the Cyber Underground. This is where we discuss everything that relates to computers that's just going to scare you out of your mind. So come join us every week here on thinktechhawaii.com, 1 p.m. on Friday afternoons. And then you can go see all our episodes on YouTube. Just look up the Cyber Underground on YouTube. All our shows will show up. And please follow us. We're always giving you current, relevant information to protect you, keeping you safe. Aloha. Hi, welcome back. I'm your host, Dave Perry, and this is Think Tech Hawaii. And this show is Let's Talk Hawaii. I'm here with Maki Manami, singer, songwriter, and producer, among, amongst other things. And we are going to continue with our questions about singing and how it can help your English. So, Maki, I have another couple questions for you, and then I want to start some teaching with you. I need your assistance for that. Um, so does anything make you nervous when you're singing? Well, actually, um, I never really get nervous. Um, yeah, because that's something I have been doing since I was a little kid. Like I, to, you know, I started taking piano lessons at, at the age of three. So, you know, like I had a lot of opportunities to perform in front of everyone. But uh -huh. if I didn't have uh, time to practice that much. I usually, you know, practice well and prepare for every performance. But uh, sometimes, for example, I get job like choir job or whatever, and they sent me like 15 songs, and then I have to remember all of the songs in two weeks or something. Mm. And if mm. I don't have enough time to prepare, especially ah, so that you get keen just job. そういう時に緊張っていうかちょっとこう心配するって感じですかね間違ったらどうしようかわかりますねプレパレーションがちゃんとできたらノープロブレムですよねそうですそうです So um, you help Japanese people sing I know you do several different things but for your students you're helping them to sing and I, I remember that many people were interested in improving their karaoke skills karaoke or karaoke skills to help them at parties or events, or it just gives them more confidence when they have more confidence. So could you tell me a little bit about that? What, 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 are, what are most of the people interested in? Well, um, well, so, Japanese people, karaoke is a very important communication tool. So everybody loves it and then and they need it because you know they invite cl their clients to karaoke party and that's where they build up the bond you know between clients だからその、ま、コーワーカーズとか。あの、マネージャー、カラオケをするっていうことで、その、そこで絆をこうビルドアップしていって、ま、より良く仕事をするための good impression when you can make a good song, I think too. So yeah. if a person wanted to become a singer or a, um, something like wanted to sing or do something like that, what would be the first step with you? What would they do? So first step, on, I would say um, just love it, you know, just love it and then be into it. And then in that way, you naturally practice. You don't even have to, you know, try to practice. Nowadays, we have so many tools like YouTube or so many different schools, and you can research online. なんかこう何から習うとか決められなかったりとか迷ったりしてる人。すごく多いと思うんですけども、そうじゃなくてもう本当に好きだからたくさん練習してたくさん歌って、あの音楽作りたかったらたくさん作ってっていう感じで、あ
、on average, a little improvement in general. 平均的にはみんなちょっと良くなってきた。まあ、インターネットが24時間とか、それが始めた時に YouTube もなかったんだし、インターネットは大体なかったんです。だけど、最近みんな少しずつ良くなってきたんですけど、やっぱり何が一番大きな問題だと思いますか日本人の英語に対して、発音に対して、スピーキング、コミュニケーティング、何が一番大きな問題だと思いますかやっぱりあの、そのパーソナリティが問題だと思います、日本人の。あのすごくシャイ、ものすごくシャイで、例えばあの私、語学学校にニューヨークでいたことがあるんですけど、日本人以外の人種の人は間違い、間違いようが何だろう、もうとにかくしゃべる、もうしゃべりまくる。ですよね文法が違っても単語がおかしくても。でもやっぱその英語は English is I think physical you know, training like playing the instrument。だから楽器を習いたくても楽器を弾かないでただ本読んでるだけだったら絶対楽器なんてうまくならないのに英語も一緒で頭で分かっててもやっぱその喋らないと使わないと絶対意味がないしうまくならないことだからやっぱシャイなところでそれをこうちょっと。止めてしまってるとか、まあ、あの普通に単純に喋る機会がないとか、うん、っていうことはものすごくあの大きな問題だと思います。なるほど。Okay, so、um, my, my next question, then I want to、uh, open it up to some slides that I have.、Um, how do you taught me something at one of my、uh, workshops one day when you made, it,、uh, made me aware? That Japanese people breathe differently than American people, which was very. I was very surprised. 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 What is the difference? Can you tell me? How do Americans breathe? Hey, can you tell me? And how do Japanese people breathe? Americans are very surprised. American is very surprised. I was very surprised. 口角膜で、まあ、お腹を使って喋ってる。で日本人は特に女性なんですけど女性はこう胸を使ってこうやっていつも呼吸してるんですよね。チェストブリーディング。で、えっと、男性はあの普段から、まあ、腹式はしてるとは言われてるんですけどもあのやっぱりその息をちょっとずつしか使わないから。あの腹式呼吸をしてるといってもちょっとしかお腹を動かす機会がないんですよねだから実際に腹式やってみましょうって言ったらみんなこっちの胸の方に来ちゃうで私たちが腹式呼吸をする時の寝てる時だけなんですよだから寝転がってベッドの上とかで寝てる時だけお腹が動くっていうあの感じなのでなあ、うん、あのアメリカ人とのものすごく大きな違いですね。そうん oh. Yes, I, you, you had us all, みなさんが深息してて、日本人のみなさんがみんな上の肺がなんか大きくして、なんかこうやって。でも、私がお腹ボワーボワーって、やっぱり、よくに寝て、で、lay on your bed or something, and watch and take a deep breath. 日本人の方が、チェストが動いちゃう。でも、アメリカの人がお腹が動いちゃう。それは知らなかったし、だから、何年前だろう、maybe. Eight, eight, eight years ago, maybe? Yeah, eight years ago or something.、So yeah. I learned that. I'm learning as I teach too, but that was very interesting. I have a slide here that kind of shows what we were talking about. It's the two lungs, slide number one. We can see that Japanese people will basically start talking without taking a deep breath. でもやっぱりネイティブに聞いたら必ず何,何か聞いなんかあの、if you ask a question, 必ず外気してからボワボワボワボワボワボワボワボワ話す。で、大体息がなくなるまでになんか話しちゃう。We will speak until basically all the air is gone where Japanese people will breathe more frequently. And、uh, this illustrates Basically, what's going on. So, in order to, in order to,、um, to speak better,、um, we need to have a big deep breath to connect our words. So, if you don't have enough air, if you don't have enough air, you can't have enough air. And another slide here, I'm going to demonstrate, I'm going to demonstrate what I'm talking about. 日本人の英語がなんか上のブルーの方、なんか上の方、なんかバーバーバーバ
it is very hot. How are you doing today? It's word or sound, space, sound and space. もネイティブの方が下の方が big sound 消えてしまう。また音で消えてしまう。消えてしまいますね。It's basically connected. And the bottom is how you want to make sure all of your words are connected. So, one interesting thing was、um, that I noticed、um, when you sing, you basically have to connect your words. You're taking a deep breath and you're using pressure to push the air out. So, sort of thought, your words come out just like a song. And when they do that, you sound like you're singing, basically. One of my friends,、um, long time ago in college, he said, When I listen to Americans, Americans are listening to the music, they're listening to the music. So he said, It just sounds like everybody's la 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 singing, versus his main language, which was pop, 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 pop. So the first time I heard that, I was in college at that time. I wasn't teaching so much pronunciation then, but it was interesting that they thought we sound like we're singing all the time. Anything you can add to how singing is connected to、uh, speaking? Yes, well, that's you know, exactly what you said. Like,、um, so singing, you know, you have to really take a deep breath. Otherwise, if you don't take enough breath, then you won't be able to finish singing one phrase, you know, and you will be run out of the breath. So I always tell my vocal student every time you have an opportunity to take a breath, then you have to really take a deep breath. Otherwise, you know, you won't be able to sing the phrase properly. Got it. Okay, so, well, I wanted, I wanted to share some of your information. So we have.、Uh, Some information about you and how people could reach you. So, you have a school called Higher Voice, and、yes. uh, that's your language school in Los Angeles. I mean, your vocal school in Los Angeles. And how can we reach you? Yes, well, you,、uh, they can visit my website, so higher-voice.com. That's my vocal school. And then、uh, the next one is、uh, makimanami, my full name, makimanami.com. So, that's The website、uh, of my、uh, music work. So you can reach me from those websites. Great. Well, thanks again for、uh, spending this time with me. Learn something about you, Germany, breathing, and so on. So, thank you for having me. That's it for today's show. Catch me in two weeks. I will probably be live from Tokyo, Japan at that time. Looking forward to s e e you again. Have a nice day.